we have dr anju kuriakos helping us find the right balance between career family and mental peace she is a consultant retina at uh, chaitanya hospital and west indai hospital coaching good morning everyone so amidst of all this every all the speakers spoke before me we have to find the right balance that is the most important thing as us human beings so how do we balance this work and life i am going to talk about that so work life balance involves so many things includes friends career health and family so the actual point is there is no perfect work life balance what works for you will not will never work for you me so the key is not to prioritize what's on your schedule but to prioritize your priorities so what are the effects of poor work life balance we'll have the small mental health illness like depression anxiety we'll be constantly fatigued there will be uh, poor relationships stress and lack of self confidence so these are the issues it comes to when it when it comes to this work life balance time management managing the burnout or the stress managing the family and relationship together and when to retire so for us doctors if we even suffer from any mental health problem two thirds of the doctors they don't want to don't want others to know because of the self stigma so what are the early symptoms we will think only this a maniac a paranoid or the mental health illness no feeling sad concentration problem anger management issue sleeping problem extreme mood swings all these are symptoms of early mental health illness so as a doctor we have gone through so many things from right from pg till becoming a consultant around 30 35 years after that it is a monotonous life either it is a private practice or institution practice it is a monotonous life till 40 50 after that boredom sets in what do you know do next so that will be the question so a human has a human function curve so when your stress level is less your performance is high you will have after a point you will become after you come out of your comfort zone the fatigue will set in and the intended performance will be uh, actual performance will be very less compared to the intended performance after that slowly the performance will slow down to exhaustion ill health after a point it will be breakdown you don't want to do anything in ophthalmology after a point so if we maintain a right balance it will be good that you can work till you want to work so the thing is that there is after uh, in when the stress level is low you will have no motivation when you are in your comfort zone you will have the right motivation you will have the good performance after the good productive performance you will become you will be stressed to do more so it will be irritable you will become irritable monotonous life with anxious and anger after that it's burnout you don't want to do anything more so what is this burnout i'm talking about it about burnout stress what is this it is a state of emotional physical uh, and mental exhaustion caused by prolonged stress uh, prolonged in excessive stress so what are the signs of burnout do we all have gone through that it is loss of motivation feeling irritable unable to sleep frequent headaches struggle with self doubt so what are the tips to overcome this burnout take a break get sleep exercise get off this electronics do what you like find your hobbies reach out to the closest to you get go out with friends get organized clean eat healthy it is these are the simple things we can do but we are not doing it so time is our most valuable commodity so we have to prioritize our things into this four categories first is urgent and important second is important but not so urgent third is urgent but not important fourth is not important not urgent leave it so time management especially for working mothers time management get a planner stick to your plan learn to say no no means no that's all you know what is your priority and reward yourself take a break Ta- reward yourself so restoring the balance at home so after all this work you come back to your kids that for them you are the world so don't use technology 24 by 7 share responsibilities learn to say no stay connected with family and friends learn uh, look into your 
ഹോസ്പിറ്റൽസ് എംപ്ലോയ്മെൻറ്റ് അസിസ്റ്റൻമെൻറ്റ് പ്രോഗ്രാംസ് എക്സസൈസ് റെഗുലർലി ഈറ്റ് റൈറ്റ് ആൻഡ് ഗെറ്റ് എ ഡീക്വിറ്റ് സ്ലീപ്പ് അലോ ഫോർ ഫൺ ആൻഡ് റിലാക്സേഷൻ ഇൻ ലൈഫ് സോ നെക്സ്റ്റ് ഇസ് ആഫ്റ്റർ ഓൾ ദിസ് വെൻ ഡു വി വോണ്ട് ടു റിട്ടയർ ആൻഡ് ഹൗ ടു ഹൗ ടു നോ വെൻ ടു റിട്ടയർ സോ സം തിങ്സ് ടു ബി കെപ്റ്റ് ഇൻ മൈൻഡ് ബിഫോർ റിട്ടയർമെൻറ്റ് വാട്ട് ഇസ് യുവർ റിട്ടയർമെൻറ്റ് പ്ലാൻ സോ ഫസ്റ്റ് തിങ് ഇസ് ഗെറ്റ് റിട്ട് ഓഫ് ഓൾ യുവർ ഡെപ്സ് പ്രൊട്ടക്ട് യുവർ എമർജൻസി ഫണ്ട് സോ വി ഡോ നോ വാട്ട് ലൈഫ് ഇസ് ഗോയിങ് ടു ബ്രിങ് അസ് സോ യു ഷുഡ് ഹാവ് എ റിട്ടയർമെൻറ്റ് ബഡ്ജറ്റ് എക്സാമിൻ യുവർ ക്യാഷ് ഫ്ലോ ഇഫ് യു സ്റ്റോപ്പ് വർക്കിംഗ് ഓൾസോ ഡു വി ഹാവ് എനി ആക്സസ് ടു ദ ക്യാഷ് ഡെവലപ്പ് എ വിഡ്രോയൽ സ്ട്രാറ്റജി മാക്സിമൈസ് മിനിമൈസ് യുവർ ടാക്സസ് ആൻഡ് ഓവർ സീ ദ എസ്റ്റേറ്റ് പ്ലാനിങ് so work life balance includes not only this work and family it includes self you have to take care of yourself so travel uh, hobbies health well being all needs to be taken care of along with job satisfaction and career advancement with family and positive relationships so life is always uh, life will always get busy make time to do things lo- you love thank you thank you anju that was very useful tips for managing our stressful personal life as well as uh, our work life